for a few days. Just a little trip to get out and soak in a little more of the summer. Not, not far from home, this was a kind of a last minute trip. Decided to just get out and a few days free. So we're not going terribly far. got all my old time gear I guess you'd call it. We're out here, I got the chestnut pile, my new chestnut pile canoe, some canvas, a canvas pack, campfire tent or a baker tent. So, nice to be out. Gorgeous day, weather looks amazing, hot. Like it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna feel like the high 30s for the next few days. You can just barely make them out on the rock, it's kind of flaking off. But I believe that right there is part of the pictographs here. You can't really make out any others supposed to be more but we'll poke around a little bit and see what else we find whenever i see stuff like this like in this jumble of rock it always makes me wonder like what's underneath there what was on the back side of that rock that's buried now like, as much as you see i always wonder what else i'm not seeing So accustomed to all the tie downs and everything I put in my swift canoe. And I don't have the same system the way my pack works and everything. Got it dialed in pretty good with the other boat. It is just insanely hot in here. Wow. I'm gonna go up this creek a little ways. Get into the lake where we can get some fresher water. My goodness, it's hot. Oh, 
Wow. Well, we found our lake and checked out. There's two sites on this lake. We checked them both out. And I think we're going to stay here. Big sloping rock here. Perfect for just sitting on in the sun, relaxing. Good spot, good swim spot. is massive but it's got so many upsides not just it's big and it's kind of a big footprint and you know it takes up a lot of space it's kind of heavy but it gives so much room inside for people and gear and uh, the soil is a little thin here for these spikes put some rocks on them but this tent like the whole front's open to the view of the lake. You're not hidden from anything, yet you're sheltered. It's so nice. And if it happens to rain, the tent and a tarp all together. We're gonna head out and go. I got a bit of hardwood, which is good because I've got steak to cook tonight. Um, but I need to get a little bit of softwood, so I'm gonna go up in the bush here behind camp once I get dressed up here to go. Split one piece, and to be honest, I am soaked again. Oh man! Well, that'll do for tonight anyway. It's days like this, like it's so hot, I don't even feel like cooking or anything. Like I gotta force myself just to even make dinner. I could, you know, drink a bunch of water, some nun tabs, maybe a granola bar or two and call it a night, but I packed a steak and potatoes and everything out here with me. So 
that's what we're eating. All right, buddy. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. Hey. Hey. Yeah. He's a good boy. You're a good boy. Good company to have out here. You are. Okay. Time to get dinner ready. Found a copy of the Brockville and Prescott this week. Newspaper someone left here, so might as well make use of it. Is it to get the fire started? Probably isn't gonna need paper, but. Oh, since I'm going a little more traditional on this trip, I thought I would pack the old Wanigan along. So, this has all our food in it, minus this little bag of snacks that goes in Cooper's pack, in case we get hungry during the day. This stuff is actually getting a little smoke here. Still pretty cold. This has steak in it for tonight. Um, steak, potatoes, carrots, and onions. So, there's Cooper's dehydrated food. Get this out of the way. Get him fed. A little more than the usual freeze-dried tonight, or dehydrated. Packed in a little bit of foil. Add a little bit of oil to this. get one of these little salt and pepper shakers. Everything comes out really fast. Like that. Can't forget all my onions. Man. I packed more than I thought. Throw that guy on the grill. So good. 
Mm. Perfect. Still just firm, not mushy. Amazing. All right. A little later than for norm than normal for dinner, but. Sitting here watching the sunset off the clouds, taking in the last little bit of daylight. What a beautiful night! Spectacular, it's coming into the best time of year. Enjoy this for a few more minutes and then I'll head to the tent. So warm still. Like, literally sweating just sitting here. Man. It'll cool off though. Get some sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning. Another spectacular morning here in camp. Oh, not too bad of a night, but oh man, warm. Got the fire. Uh, where is it now? I guess directly behind me. There it is. Got the fire built up, just letting it burn down a little bit. We watch all these loons cruise around the lake. Yeah, there is five there, they're coming closer. Must be the good fishing hole right there. Well, 
Hard to find a better view. Change in the weather from yesterday. It's a lot cooler. It's nice, it's still warm, but the humidity's really dropped. And it's very overcast. A lot of cloud cover today. And I guess there's a chance of rain. Well, still gorgeous day. Can't complain. And if it rains, I've got a good book and a dry tent. <laughs> I was right about the rain. Just finished breakfast and it started spitting. And I don't think it's going to amount to much of anything but just very gently falling. Loons are back. Well, this gentle little rain continues to come down here. I see some blue sky in the distance, so it's, I don't think it's going to amount to much of anything. But I sit here and just enjoy the view and have a quiet morning. A little quiet time and then maybe we'll go for a little paddle. I have my firebox and the Trangia, so I figured I'd just make some, use up the last of this cured meat and cheese here I have, that make myself uh, a few little quesadillas for dinner.
just sitting in the tent. I just had something pretty big come through the bush behind camp. Um, I think it was a moose by the way it was walking. And I jumped out of the tent and hollered at it. And it ran off up the hill. I couldn't see it through the brush. It was too dark. But with the way it was walking, it sounded like a moose. Uh, so, anyways, we're in for the night now. It's dark. We'll let the bugs have the outdoors. Uh, hopefully, it was just a moose and he's gone off. But whippoorwills are going crazy out there tonight. Uh, the loons were just lighting off there a minute or two ago, too. So, I guess everything's saying good night. So, I will as well. See you in the morning. This is why I love this tent. Wake up this awesome view, the whole front open. It looks like another gorgeous day. Beautiful, calm morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Just starting to get tent packed up before we crawl out but yeah we're gonna get out on the water maybe while it's still cool and misty and well camp is all packed up Everything's stowed. Bags are loaded down there. Take our time going back. A couple of short portages and that's it. Just some lake travel after that. Turn the canoe over. I found a freeloader. trying to pee on me. He's squirting all over. So we'll just put him down, let him go. Hey buddy, poor choice. There you go. All right, now we can go.
Just have to cross the big lake here and back. It's gonna take some time and just exploring the shoreline a little bit. I don't know how far to paddle, so not really in a hurry at all. Just enjoying this little breeze and some beautiful sunshine. Soak up while we can, right? relatively short trip just saw uh, an opening in the week I had a couple days and I thought get out and do something and finally take the chestnut out explore a little bit somewhere near home didn't have to go too far to find what we needed so anyway from Cooper and I thanks for coming along it's nice to have some company See you next time. Take care.